And we're back again with another show. Faux oh, show. Number... Who knows? Three? Yeah. Something <laughs> like that. So I'm actually not at my garage. I'm at a, buddy, a new buddy of mine, Wyle, who's a body tech for a long time. But I just bought this $400 show last week. We got it over here. And we're gonna, we're gonna start making a lot of progress that has not been made in the past year. The plan today is take the brand new show. I'm really not gonna do too much introduction on this thing. This is what you get for $400 in E30s these days. There's nothing in it. I've already pulled the dash. Uh, it's got some rust in the firewall, but not nearly as bad as my old one. That one's already gone. We're moving, we're moving real fast. Hopefully we can get this thing running before July is the goal. Okay. Before July is the goal to have a running car. So, not painted, but running. So, today we are looking to do rest repair. I want to delete the sunroof and I want to cut these rear quarters for the wide body kit. Maybe even mount up the wide body kit. That's probably going to be tomorrow. And that should be good. It'll be a lot of work. I'm going to try to show as much of it as I can, but we'll see.
So finally, 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 after about two solid days of work, we've done <clears throat> pretty much all the welding. Those required welded in sunproof, deleted the whole cassette, welded in the rear quarters. This will all get cleaned up, squared up, and then possibly building straight, basically tubs, external tubs for under the rocket bunny kit, just so if rocks come up, they don't crack my kit. Though those sort of uh, modifications. So that's why these flaps are still on here. These are just the inner wheel well where we well, uh, folded it up and then welded it up. So if we can come off these to make flaps, that would be ideal. And then those will extend probably all the way back here. Same thing, welded up some sunroof holes, or boot lid holes. I have another one of these without holes I could have used, but then I'd have to take it off. This was actually easier. You can't see it, damn. But in there is the garagistic wheel well delete. That's done. That panel it made it easier, but in the end, it's just a circular piece of sheet metal, so it is nice to buy it from them and just drop it in there and spot weld it in, but if you have the means to cut it out nice and circle, just do it. That's fine. I straightened out the floors in here. There's a little bumps and everything. Stripped all the interior, anything that was left, even after I bought it as just a shell. And last but not least, the finished product of... rust repair right here. Basically what I was saying in the last video, the car had too much rust. Should have known it at first, but it's okay. Found a new shell, 400 bucks, got me a nice bronze it, straight, same year as my other one so I don't even have to change the wiring harness. This is a ES. So 325ES, it has a 2.93 LSD in the rear, which basically made the whole car worth buying. There wasn't really a lot of, a lot of uh, reason not for me not to buy this, except for that little bit of rust in the front. That's already gone, like you guys saw. Just to recap, we fixed that rust. We cut the rear, the front fenders, we cut the rear fenders. We pulled the skins out, welded up the skins to the outside. We deleted the rear antenna, deleted the rear wheel well with the garagistic piece. Drilled some, drilled some holes in there. And the sunroof, deleted the sunroof, pulled the whole cassette out. That was probably, you know, 40, 40 something pounds, 45 pounds, I think is what I've heard. I didn't really weigh it, but it was heavy. So a hell of a lot of progress in two days. That's more progress than I probably made in seven months. Two days, thanks to Wild for all his help. <sighs> now it's time to move on. Get on with this build. It's all on me to get, to get this thing running soon as possible. I apologize that it's not as detailed as I like it to be, but it'll still be a great video. And um, welcome the new car to the build. Anyways, $400 E30, 293 LSD, bronze it, 1986 ES. It's gonna be great. Peace out, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. So I